In Microsoft Syntex, the freeform and structured document processing models use a power platform service called AI Builder to capture information from structured documents, such as purchase orders, or from freeform documents, such as letters or contracts, when the documents are uploaded to a SharePoint document library. You can create the models in the Content Center or in any local document library site where Syntex has been activated. For this example, we'll create a new freeform model from a library site. From a SharePoint library, select Classify and Extract. Then, under Create a Model, choose Create. Next, select Freeform Selection Method for a freeform processing model. The Details page gives you more information about the model. To continue, select Next. Note that your admin must enable document processing models for your site for the freeform and structured options to be available. This is done in the Microsoft Syntax Document Processing settings in your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Next, enter the name of your model. For example, we want to create a model that will identify and extract data from rental agreements. Creating a new model will, by default, create a new SharePoint content type. A SharePoint content type represents a category of documents that have similar characteristics, such as common columns or metadata. Under Advanced Settings, you can either create a new content type or use an existing one. When you are ready to create the model, select Create. Add fields for the information you want to extract, such as agreement date, tenant, landlord, and monthly rent. Next, you'll need to upload training documents by creating a collection and adding documents to it. These documents should be sample files that are similar in format and contain the information you want to extract. To properly train the model, you'll need to upload a minimum of five sample documents. Once the sample files are uploaded and analyzed, you can manually select string segments and associate them with the desired field. You can also select fields and tables. After selecting the field strings you want to extract, you can then run the model against the same set of example files. Once training has completed, go to the Details page to see the results of your published model. Choose Publish to make the model available for use. Then select a library to apply the model to. This also makes it available for discovery and reuse in other site libraries. After applying the model, the document library columns are updated to include the fields you identified when creating your model. Now when you upload files to the document library, the model automatically analyzes the files, extracting the desired information and saving it to the corresponding fields. Then the extracted data is displayed for the fields you selected.